CEOs want to know the secret behind BTS, and this is what Suga tells them. CEOs and fellow idols seek the BTS members' advice. BTS's Suga is back with a new episode of his musical talk show Sequita, and this time his featured guest was one of his childhood idols, Nell's lead vocalist guitarist, and keyboardist, Kim Jong-won. Nell, a Korean alternative rock band, celebrated their 24th anniversary in January. And as a global star who recently celebrated his 10th anniversary with BTS, Suga wanted to know the secret to making music for over two decades. Kim Jong-won shared that consistency is key, noting that over the course of their career, Nell worked consistently enough for people to not forget them. He also noted that the group just really loves music. The Nell member stressed the importance of artists loving their craft, stating there's a noticeable difference between someone in love with themselves doing music and someone who is just in love with music. Being in love with music can help carry artists through tough times or instances where their songs don't perform well, whereas artists in love with themselves doing music may constantly seek outside opinions and acceptance to be content. He shared that he often discusses that concept when juniors approach him for guidance, adding that industry juniors must often approach Suga for advice too. Suga revealed that he met a lot of CEOs who produce their own stuff, and they frequently asked him what the secret behind BTS is. The BTS member has an answer prepared, stressing the importance of being musically free, even if they're going to get hate for it. For BTS, Suga shared that Hybe founder Bang Si Hayek and Byat Music had the group's back in their creative pursuits. Suga said the group was aware they may get hate, but they learned a lot by doing the music they wanted to do. The BTS member added that he's been approached by fellow idols who want to pursue a solo career, and his advice for them is to go all the way in showing their colors or do something popular, acknowledging there is no middle ground.